So I'm about to learn some things about this oscilloscope. <laughs> so my little uh, signal generator, function generator is hooked up. So I'm going to, uh, well, that's interesting. I don't know why it's jumping around. So I'm not sending in a signal. So let's turn it on. Okay. Now we appear to have a signal. So change the time division. Uh -huh. oh, there we go. So these time divisions are of course crucial. And the volt scale is all messed up. What do we go up to? We go up to five. Okay. Five volts per division. Now we're getting somewhere. That's starting to look like an oscilloscope. Now what do you know? Let's keep tuning this bad boy. Trace rotation, gosh. Okay. We got a little positioning going on there. That's good. Now. We're going to try to calibrate it a little bit using um, the DSS. What I'm missing right now, I don't need scale illumination. This is sharp scope. I like that. It has TV inputs too. I don't really know much about what that means. But I'm going to hook a TV up to it. Or at least something that produces rather a uh, TV signal, like a composite video signal. And just see what happens. So right now I'm going to adjust my voltage on the DSS. There you go. That's nice. So it's responding properly. That's great. Ooh, I think this positional knob. Are you the one I need? So that's horizontal, that's vertical positioning, but it's not doing it for me. Well, that's a neat knob. Huh. So I'm sending a sawtooth, I'm getting a sawtooth. Let's change the waveforms. So, you turn this unit off, and then you can select. Go select square. Actually, we're going to increase the uh, the frequency as well. Now we're up to sure. Why not? About seven kilohertz. They're on, and we're getting the square. That's great. Look at that. Okay. So this is working pretty well. Uh, I need to do a little more investigation into my position knob, the vertical position. It's possible it's the voltage offset from the scope, um, meaning this may be reading perfectly right. And that I just have a, an input to it that I don't quite understand, which doesn't really surprise me much. <laughs> so that's pumping it up to like uh, five, about seven volts peak to peak. Let's look at some other waveforms while I'm doing this. This is kind of interesting. So this has, um, so this is designed. Ooh, let me turn on the noise. That would be noise. This is designed for testing medical equipment. So you can put in, yes, uh, electrocardiogram. We'll drop it down to yeah, 30 hertz, sure, why not? Let's see what this signal looks like.
couple of different spikes. I'm gonna speed it up. That's not boring. 130. 330. Ten times. There you go. Ba-dum. Ba-dum. I guess that's your heartbeat. All right. Go check the other channel. So now that's channel two. I've got to select channel two as the input. Ooh, okay. But I've got to match the other settings. So five volt. And we'll try the positioning. And uh, now that's fantastic because I just learned something else. I was using the wrong positioning knob. This is the channel two positioning knob. I never did try the channel one positioning knob. So we're gonna go back and fix that right now. Okay, channel one positioning. There we go. Now we're talking. Fantastic. So a single, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that was a little silly, but you know, never used this before. Mode and source, yeah. Now, why would it be showing me that under source? So I shouldn't have a source. Hmm. TV. Yeah, a little bit of learning to do on this one, but that's okay. Turn on the scale light so I can read it in the dark. This might be sharper than my Tektronics. Huh. All right, uh, we'll try another waveform just for fun. Oh, we got, is that a reverse sawtooth? Yeah. I'm gonna speed that up a bit. See what that looks like. Well, it kind of looks like a reverse sawtooth. Very nice, very nice. All right. 